Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're gonna focus on how to add configuration file into a React.js project. So what we can do is we can go in with um, installing this package, which then will allow you to actually have a .env file for both production and development. So what we can do is we can cd into add. I've already created a new project which you can do by running npx create react app and then the name and um, then you can go in to the app folder by running cd app and then in here we can say yeah and add save dev and then in me cmd and let's just do like this Okay, so while this is installing, we can create the files we need. So we need two files for this project. We need a .env .development, and then we need a .env .production. So the reason why we keep these files separate is because in .production you might have a different key for a um, third party API or something like that. Whereas in development, you might have testing key. It's not always you will store the uh, API keys in here, um, but in that case, it will actually be a really good way to keep it separate instead of having to change it every time you go to production and development. That's why we actually would do it this way. So before we can make this work, uh, we need to put in env cmd here and then we need to put in that env that development and then we need to go into here and say env cmd dot env dot production and because we're going to use the development one for testing too if you're going to do that we're going to say development here as well Right. So this will basically add some commands to the React script. So when you run yarn start, it will also include this command, which then would tell um, the start script that we are using env.cmd to load some configuration and then React will know about it. So what we can do now is we can go into our app.js file here and we can remove the basic here and then we can also go up here and just remove the logo because we're not going to use that and then we can go in here and say welcome from and then we can say process dot env dot react app name and then we can go into development and say this is equal to hello world and then you will um, put the same in here, unless you want to call it something different in production. Um, that's your choice. Uh, the only thing that is a requirement when you use React for this is you need to put React in front of here and then an underscore. So React un uh, underscore something. Uh, otherwise, React won't know that you're actually using this. Um, so what we can do now is we can say yarn yeah, start. And then it should hopefully start up a server on 127.0.0.8000.3000. And then when this is loading, this will just take a few seconds. It should say hello from hello world. So you can see here it's still starting the development server. Some people might have a faster computer, other people might have a slower computer, but um, it takes some time for some people. But as you can see here, this is completely taken out of this file. So if we change this to React Tutorial instead, you will see that this will be updated if we just refresh.
And then um, we need to close down the server again. And then it will open up at 1001. So this won't uh, automatically update, uh, unfortunately. This is, I guess, one of the downsides of actually using this here, that you would have to close down the file, close down the server, open the server, close down the server, open the server, every time you update some configuration, but it won't update if you move it here. But in here, you would usually only have some configuration stuff like an API key or something like that. And usually you wouldn't have to change that. Um, so therefore it isn't really necessary either to close down the server and open the server a lot. It won't be really a problem in the long term. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one.